Hello and welcome to the CA ArcServe D2D how-to video series. In this video, we'll show you how to restore data by finding a specific file or folder that was previously backed up. Each time D2D performs a successful backup, all protected files and folders are included in a snapshot image of your backup. If a file becomes lost or damaged, you can restore a known good version of that file. In this video, we'll show you how to restore data for a specific file or folder to a specified destination. From the D2D homepage, click Restore to open the Restore Methods dialog. And then select the Find Files Folders to Restore option. The Find Files Folders to Restore dialog opens. First, you need to specify where to search. This is the location where your backed up or copied files and folders are stored. You can search a backup location, a file copy location, or both. The destinations displayed in each of these search fields are your default destinations. If you select Backup Location, you can then specify a location or browse to the location where your backup images are stored. You may need to provide username and password credentials. You can click the green arrow button to verify you have a valid connection to the location if needed. If you select File Copy Location, you can then specify a location or change the search location to the destination where your file copy images are stored. If you want to change this destination, you can click the Change button to browse to an alternate location where your file copy images are stored. You can select to restore from a local or network drive or from a cloud location. If you choose the local or network drive option, you can browse to and select an alternate local or network drive location. You may need to provide username and password credentials to gain access to that location. Click the green arrow button to verify you have a valid connection. If you choose the Cloud option, click the Configure button to access the Cloud Configuration dialog. From this dialog, you can select the exact cloud storage location that you want to restore your file copies from by specifying the cloud vendor type and URL address, the key information to gain access to that vendor site, and the name of the bucket or container that houses these file copies at this cloud location. Next, specify what to search for. This would be the file or folder name to restore. If you do not know the full name of the file or folder, you can filter your search using wildcard characters, such as an asterisk or a question mark. Then enter a specific search path and any subdirectories to help you find data. Click Find to launch the search. The search results are displayed. If the search process discovers multiple occurrences or versions of the same file or folder, it lists all occurrences sorted by date, with the most recent listed first. It also indicates if the searched file or folder had been backed up or file copied. Select the occurrence of the file or folder that you want to restore. And then click Next. The Restore Options dialog opens. From here, you need to choose the restore destination. You can restore to the original location from where the backup image was captured or to an alternate location. If you select an alternate location, you may need to provide username and password credentials to gain access to that location. You can click the green arrow button to verify you have a valid connection to the location if needed. Next, specify what you want D2D to do to resolve any conflicts that may be encountered during the restore process. Choose Overwrite Existing Files to replace data that already exists at the restore destination. If you select this option, the Replace Active Files option is enabled. You can then specify what you want D2D to do if the existing file is active or currently in use. With this option selected, D2D will not immediately replace the active file, but instead will postpone the replacement of that file until the next time the machine is rebooted. If you do not select this option, any active files are skipped from the restore. Choose Rename Files if you want to create a new file with a new name if the file name already exists at the restore destination. Choose Skip Existing Files to not overwrite existing files that are located at the restore destination. You can also specify if you want D2D to recreate the same root directory structure at the destination that exists in the captured backup image. Finally, if the file or folder that you are trying to restore is encrypted, you may need to provide the encryption password. When you are finished specifying the Restore options, click Next. The Restore Summary dialog is displayed. 
Review the displayed information to verify that all restore options and settings are correct. If the information is not correct, click Previous and go back to change the incorrect setting. If the information is correct, click Finish to launch the restore process. D2D confirms the restore job was successfully submitted and displays the progress on the job monitor. That's it. For more detailed information about this procedure, you should always check the official D2D user documentation. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit our website where you can view other titles in this video series.